Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's yo boy. Relay is here, coming at you with another video today, man. Today, I am going to be showing you the best dribble moves in NBA 2K23. And I will say, honestly, I think this is the best dribble moves for all builds, okay? So make sure you watch this whole video, man. And also leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. It really helped me out a lot. Let's get right to this video, man. Let's get it. Now to start off this video, man, what I would do is put on Michael Jordan dribble style. I've gone through every single dribble style in this game and easily on every single build, it is easily Michael Jordan, all right? So make sure you put on Michael Jordan. If not, I would definitely say you will struggle and you'll be a lot slower than everyone else when you are dribbling. Trust me on this one, it's the best. Next up is your signature size up. What we're gonna go is T Mac. All right. The reason why we're going T Mac it's because it's a, it's pretty fast. Okay. So like it's just like it's that simple cross. Like boom, 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 go. All right. Boom, boom, go. All right. It's like it's a misdirection. It's very nice to have. And then you do this. Boom. Right there. Boom. And that's gonna be open a lot. Right. And you're gonna be open every single time. T Mac is the best one to use for your signature size up. Now we are going into our size up escape. Okay. So our size. Up escape is going to be Paul George so it's gonna be kind of weird all right so this is like what comes with it so you get that right there all right so we get that so we go here and then just run right it's pretty fast here run right or here and then like you just cross over right but then also we get that move right there boom boom and then you go like look how fast that is like I get this this move gets open a lot like I play the 1v1 court in the stage and then go there or hold on go there and then go right it's like super fast like people won't expect it like if you're a rim runner boom go all the way and then you're just like to the basket easy right so i would definitely go um paul george on your size up escape there's so much you can do out of it i would say the only con about it is like this move right here i don't know if y'all seen a bunch of people spam it but that's probably the like the least thing i like about it but i mean i can deal without it because like there's so many different things you can do with this one like that right there is nice and then you go right there and then like there's this move where you just go backwards like you go and then you it's like a walk back kind of like boom there right it's nice to have because like i don't know it's just like there's something about it i don't know like this this right here boom boom like right there is so nice and it gets the defender most of the time like i'd probably say about 80 percent of the time it just really depends on who's guarding you and then also like that right there is super nice and then even like that I mean it could be better too that's what also comes with it but other than that it's like you're not going to use that move right you're trying to get open and this will take away like your like adrenaline bar like right? when, from your, when you're whenever you're like dribbling right so you don't really want to use that you definitely just want the basic stuff right so you're there boom go and then right and then boom go and then like you're to the basket you see how fast that is that is so nice to have so i would definitely put on Paul George for your size up escape package. Now we're gonna go to our moving crossover. Okay, so moving crossover this year, I feel like it's really not, I mean, just like in the, just like last couple 2Ks really, it's really not the best to like, not, it's not, well, not a lot of people use it, right? But like, as you can see right here, hold on, when I come down, that double cross is nice and you go out of that move and then like come over here, right? And then shoot, right? That's pretty easy. Just do that. It, I mean, if you were coming down the court, let's play, you say you're, you're uh, on threes or like, like even on fives, you're coming down, double cross, boom, and then come over here, shoot, right? It's really easy. Um, I think it's easily the best one, James Harden, all right? So make sure you put on James Harden. I've tried, like I said, I've tried out all these dual moves and definitely James Harden's the best out of all of them, all right? Now what we're going to do is our moving behind the back and this is easily the best moving behind the back in the game and it's not close. Uh, I wish it was Scottie Pippen how it was last year in 2K22 but it's sadly not but this year it is Allen Iverson. Okay so look it's that right. Oh hold on it's not that. <laughs> it's this right here. Oh it's still not that either. It's that right there right. So you see how long that crossover is. It's nice to have and it's fast. There you go. And then you can just go to the basket. I fade right there. It's so green. You know me, man. You know me. It's still so green. But it's easily the best one. I mean, you can go through them all. And you can just tell, like, what's the, the best one, right? Boom, right there, right? If you have someone in front of you and, like, you're driving to the basket and you have the edge on them, I'd probably do the behind the back. And then you'll be in front of him and say easy dunk or layup. It'll, it just messes with, what, messes with the opponent all the time because you, you it's such a long, like, behind the back. 
though like if you're going like again it's such a long behind the back like you that defender is going to be crabbed pretty much and it's an easy layup dunk whatever you want to do whatever you want right or it's an easy kick out to the two or the or the three and honestly i would just go with that there's no other one you need and if you do need it <laughs> or if you do use anything else uh good luck all right but yeah there's that right there now where we're going to is our moving spin okay so our moving spin pretty much is going to be uh basic all right so basic is pretty much how like every year has been since 2k 19 and 20 right it's just that right there it's really nice you can do it's like that spin back move boom right i'm not getting it right here but you know you know what i mean like you can go like let's say you're driving to the paint boom you can move it or there it is right there there it is it's kind of hard you just got to flick it up more but it's nice, it's very nice. Let's go to your basket, boom, you come back, it's an open three most of the time. Especially if you're playing like fives, like let's say you're playing with randoms, like they're gonna be lost, right? That was deep, okay, but anyways, I'll put on basic, it's been the best for years, unless you're like, an, like a like a Steezo dribbler, and you're like trying to do all this, but even Steezo uses um, basic, honestly, so definitely use basic um, moving spin, all right now we're gonna get into our moving hezzy that's pretty much that right there nothing too crazy i mean ever since 2k21 moving hezzy hasn't been that crazy all right but we're gonna do a luka Doncic on that pretty much right there you get that and then you go out of it go right there crossover boom right we can do a bunch of stuff out of that if you're like getting clamps take it crossover go right or you can go like do it go or you can go on you know right there as you go right so just it's kind of like weird this year just like hezzy's is really not the best you can kind of combo out of it boom right there go right just i would i'd put this one on over any of the other ones but definitely go luca on your moving hezzy so next what i'm going to show y'all is the moving step back now this is very important okay so i had to change courts sorry about that because it wouldn't let me do it at the other court because how the camera angle was but look let's just say you're playing right and you have the guy on the iso right here right let's just say you're sizing him up boom 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 right and you come this way and that you do that and then you can shoot off of it easy don't worry about that it's a glitch don't worry about that don't worry about that okay all right anyways <laughs> anyways you like you have that easy step back into the three right or you got this Boom, and then you go, easy rim run, right? Like, it's so OP, like moving step back, Luka Doncic is the best in the game, and it's not even close, especially if you're an ISO player. But even if you're like playing like with screens, like you'll come over here, and you'll like pretend you're gonna fade, but no, you're gonna come back, right? And you're gonna shoot. All right, so make sure you put on Luka Doncic for your moving step back, it's easily the best. If you wanna get open fast, you can do that, like you can do everything out of it, all right? So make sure you put that on right there. Now, I know a lot of y'all didn't watch through this whole video, but I would appreciate if y'all did subscribe and leave a like on this video. It'd help out a lot. But here are all the dribbles, like all the playmaking moves, all right? We got dribble style, Michael Jordan, uh, signature size of Tracy McGrady, size of escape package, Paul George, moving crossover, James Harden, moving behind the back, Allen Iverson, moving spin, basic, moving hezzy, Luka, and moving step back. Luca as well. Now these really don't matter, but I would go triple threat style, uh, Michael Jordan. But if you do over have a over a pat uh, 75 pass accuracy, I would go LeBron James. I know that's not part of like a dribbling thing, but I would put that on. But yeah, I would definitely do these. Also leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Again, like I said, I know y'all don't want to watch that whole like gameplay of like what the move does. But if you do want to know what the move does go back and watch that if you do want to know and what it looks like all right but that's gonna wrap that right there we're gonna move on to the next part and that's gonna wrap the video y'all make sure you leave a like subscribe and comment if you did enjoy this video it really helped it a lot but i'm gonna wrap the video there man y'all have a good one peace out